Good afternoon to all. Could you hear me? Sunitra? And yeah. Uh, Sumitra, could you hear me? Yes, madam, can hear, madam. Right. Good afternoon to all. Uh, I'm Dr. Padma Gunaratna, President, Sri Lanka Medical Association. Uh, we have gathered here today for the inauguration of the social welfare project of the Sri Lanka Medical Association that we named as Sri Lanka SLMA COVID Sahana. The Sri Lanka Medical Association established in 1887 is the premier professional medical organization in Sri Lanka, as well as the oldest in Asia and Australasia. The SLMA has a membership of over 4,500 medical doctors working in both the state and private sectors, representing all grades of specialties from every region of the country. SLMA throughout its 134 years long existence has been engaged in providing relief to persons affected during disasters. SLMA was in forefront in supporting healthcare professionals with rations during long hours of their work in the first and second waves of the COVID-19 pandemic in Sri Lanka. During the catastrophic tsunami, the SLMA initiated a fund with finances from the Confederation of Medical Associations in Asia and Oceania to provide assistance to children affected by the Boxing Day tsunami. And selected children have been supported by this fund throughout their schooling career and even after some of them entered the university. During disasters such as flooding episodes in Sri Lanka, the SLMA has liaised with the national and international well-wishers to provide relief such as food items and medicines to those affected. Many health camps have been arranged by the Sri Lanka Medical Association Council and other members to provide medical support during the time of the ethnic conflict, as well as during natural disasters. We are at the verge of launching yet another social welfare project by the Sri Lanka Medical Association. We are well aware of the problems caused by near saturation of medical facilities and beds and the travesties of those who are kept waiting before admission to hospitals and intermediate care facilities and the significant problems faced by doctors and other healthcare providers in trying to provide optimal care for those suffering from COVID-19. In such a scenario, along with the Council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, I have taken an initiative to establish the fund SLMA COVID Sahana to try and harness the goodwill, compassion and philanthropy of the more fortunate members of our populace in canvassing as well as soliciting donations which the SLMA would be able to use for the welfare of those afflicted by COVID-19. So with that brief introduction, let me introduce our very first donor to the SLMA COVID Sahana. Our first donor is Dr. Pramila Sena Naika, MBBS, PhD, DTPH, FRCOG, FSCOG, FSLCOG. Dr. Sena Naika qualified from the Faculty of Medicine in Colombo where she graduated with distinctions and her postgraduate studies were at the London University where she obtained her PhD in maternal and child health and a diploma in tropical public health. 
She has served as a lecturer in the Department of Community Medicine in Colombo, and then at the World Health Organization, and much later as the director for 10 years and assistant director general for 17 years at the London-based International Planned Parenthood Federation. She is now back in Sri Lanka and spends much of, of her time providing technical assistance to many charitable NGOs working in areas where she is considered an expert. She is currently a trustee of the AIDS Foundation of Lanka, the honorary vice president of the Family Planning Association of Sri Lanka, a trustee of the Neelan Tiruchelvam Trust, a trustee of the Children's Heart Project, and Hema's Outreach Foundation Sri Lanka. She is also a member of the Council of Sri Lanka Medical Association for a very long period and a council member of Colombo Medical Alumni Association. As a trustee in each of the above not-for-profit organizations, Dr. Sena Naik has assisted in fundraising, in promoting the objectives of the organization, and in publishing the work of each group through electronic and printed media. She received the Sri Lanka Sikamani, one of the most prestigious national awards the Sri Lankan government bestows upon individuals who have made a significant contribution to the nation. She was also awarded the Santa Woman of Achievement for Medicine in Sri Lanka. She is the founder and chairperson of the Educate a Child Trust, a charity which gives the poorest children of the district of Kalutara, a path that leads from poverty to opportunity, providing education for over 1,200 children. She bought a land with her own personal funds and built 48 houses and constructed a community center for tsunami affected families at the Diabla Kalutara. Let me now invite Dr. Pramila Senanayake to speak a few words uh, of her experience on uh, with uh, her long-term charity work. Over. Dr. Pramila Senanayake. Thank you, Padma. I hope you can hear me. I'm yes, on you can. Yeah, okay. Padma, thank you very much for those kind words. But I am so honored to be part of this prestigious organization, the SLMA, which really is made up of eminent, competent, and I must stress honest members of the medical profession. It's really an honor to be part of the executive committee of SLMA. The SLMA COVID Sahana Fund, I believe is timely, Padma. You have really done it at the right time. The medical profession have been in the forefront of addressing the COVID pandemic and the fund will I know help provide the necessary wherewithal to tackle the pandemic. When I heard of the setting up of the fund, I was overjoyed at the possibility of being able to give to a good cause. And for me, what better <coughs> cause than to donate to the SLMA COVID Sahana Fund. I'm a strong believer that giving is far better than receiving. Also believe that the more you give, the more you receive. And as stated in the Bible, what the giver receives is pressed down and multiplied. In my own life, I can tell you that this has happened many, many times. I believe many of us have earned a good part of what we have today through our own profession. I believe it's time to give back or pay back as some might say. We should also share this with friends and family who might be willing to donate. We should not deprive them of an opportunity to give. So I'm deeply honored to be able to make a small contribution, be it the first to your fund, Padma. And I do wish the fund every success. And I hope everyone listening and their families and friends will lend a hand to increase the funds so that we can provide and tackle some of the issues related to the pandemic. Thank you, Padma, giving me the opportunity. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Pramila, for those kind words. 
uh, and we very much appreciate your contribution of RS100,000 towards SLMA COVID Sahana. And that would be the very first donation to the SLMA fund. The next donor is a company, Servia International. The Servia International has donated 500,000 rupees towards SLMA COVID Sahana. I now would like to invite Mr. Palita Jayatilaka, Country Operation Manager, Servia International, to speak a few words for this audience. Over Dr. Jay, sorry, Mr. Jayatilaka. Thank you, Dr. Padma Ganaratna. Uh, actually, uh, first and foremost, I would like to really appreciate the efforts of SLMA in uh, forming this uh, fund. But even before that, uh, through the TV media, we saw how much you have been, the SLMA has been uh, working and trying to guide the government in the right direction. And I think uh, we had to be grateful to you, uh, to the SLMA for leading the government to have this lockdown, uh, which is very most welcome. And I think the SLMA took a lead role in this. And first of all, I would thank you for that. And uh, thank you. secondly, for this, and this fund is a really a good one. And actually, from a Serbia point of view, uh, we, were, we were wanting to partner an organization and to support you know, in a small way that we can. But to find an organization who would do it worth the worthy cause was a problem to us. And so I must really thank Dr. Manilka when he connected us. So we know that the SLMA will do something really worthwhile to the society, which I've done a good track record. So we are really happy and proud to be partnering uh, SLMA. So as I as I've told you, as I told Dr. Manilka as well, uh, what we have given is an initial commitment, which we have already made, made good. And we are committed even in the future when the need arises to support the SLMA in order that you can support to, uh, for, for the country to overcome this situation. Just one word, the, in the industry, we have the Sri Lanka Chamber of Pharmacy Industry, the Sri Lanka Medical Devices Association, where the Sri Lanka Manufacturers Association. Maybe we can harness all these associations together and then we can be able to even make a better impact to the society. So with these words, Serbia, on behalf of Serbia, I would also once again thank you all for the excellent work and our and service commitment for even future support to the to SLMA. And I also like to wish safety to all of you and particularly the medical profession who are in the front line trying to save all of us from the disease. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jayatilaka, for your kind words and also for the commitment you made for our future uh, with regard to SLMA COVID Sahan. I assure you that your each contribution towards this fund will be made use in the most fruitful manner in a way that it would benefit for all COVID affected families and people in this country, Sri Lanka. The, uh, our next donor is the Sri Lanka Chamber of Pharmaceutical Industry, which has pledged 5 million towards this worthy cause. May I invite a representative on behalf of SLCPI to speak a few words. So we'll move on to the uh, uh, next uh, bit of the program. The, uh, uh, now let me take you through what we intend to do with the SLMA COVID Sahana. Uh, the objectives of the SLMA COVID Sahana would be to provide necessary support to health care institutions of the Ministry of Health, providing clinical care to COVID-19 patients, to provide education to the public on prevention and management of COVID-19 infection, to support the much needed national vaccination program to vaccinate 70% of the total population, to provide a relief to health workers affected by COVID-19 infection to support capacity building by conducting professional development activities for healthcare staff 
on prevention and treatment of COVID-19 infection and to provide financial assistance as scholarships to children of families affected by COVID-19 long-term. With that brief description of objectives of the SLMA COVID Sahana, let me now introduce you our next donor to the SLMA COVID Sahana. He is Dr. Mohan Kumar Ratna. Dr. Mohan Kumar Ratna qualified MBBS University of Colombo in 1973. Three. After working only for a very brief spell here in Sri Lanka in Anuradhapura, he migrated to United States of America in 1977. He is a US board certified pediatrician practicing in California, USA. He's a fellow of the American Association of Pediatrics since 1987. He's a private practice general pediatrician in Huntington Beach, California, and attending pediatrician Fountain Valley Regional Hospital since 1981. Though Mohan lives in California for decades, his interests are still in Sri Lanka. He has volunteered for many, for many activities, welfare activities in Sri Lanka. He conducted pediatric advanced life support program at General Hospital Anuradhapura in 1991. Conducted post-tsunami mental health rehabilitation program at IDP camp in Mathura in February 2005. As the president, Ranavira Foundation USA, they rehabilitated disabled Gajaba Regiment Veterans Camp in Senapura, Anuradhapura in 2010. He conducted a neonatal resuscitation program at PGIM in 1987. He has made a RS 200,000 rupees donation towards SLMA COVID Sahana. With that uh, uh, brief introduction, let me now invite Dr. Mohan Kumar Ratna to speak a few words. Over, Mohan. Well, first of all, uh, uh, as an expatriate uh, physician, uh, I have been fo following the events in Sri Lanka and our thoughts and prayers are with the Sri Lankan people. I have to congratulate the Sri Lanka Medical Association for taking a leadership role to set up this fund so that uh, we can help our fellow brothers and sisters in Sri Lanka. I saw your objectives, it's very clear. And uh, you were the first organization to execute this project. Uh, here in the US, we have a lot of other organizations raising funds, uh, but they, don't, they are not executed as quickly as you uh, yeah. and had, had no, no hesitation because I saw your objectives and uh, it is, uh, I, I, it is a noble objective, and uh, I'm very, very happy to, to donate. Uh, I'm also sent out your flyer to my colleagues here in the US, and I'm sure very shortly uh, you will be receiving more funds. Uh, I am also a member of the Sri Lanka Medical Association of North America, which has been very actively involved in various uh, voluntary and uh, projects in Sri Lanka, especially the development of the cancer hospital in, in Maharagama. Uh, so both as individuals, as an organization, we like to help our motherland and I wish you all the very best. And I have no doubt uh, the money will be put to good use. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to, to participate. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mohan Karuna Ratkumar Ratna. Uh, SLMA is very grateful for you, for your contribution of RS200,000 and those kind words. Uh, that uh, sort of uh, keeps us uh, encouraged to continue with all our welfare activities. Our, uh, the next donor, the next donation comes from Morrison's Manufacturing PLC. Uh, 
I think Mr. Johan Vikramasinghe, uh, CEO, Morrison's PLC, uh, is invited to address the audience. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Padma. Uh, actually, it's uh, uh, indeed a great course, so we are very happy to be part of this great course. And uh, we also like to thank SLMA for uh, inviting us to be part of this uh, project. Uh, and also like to thank uh, Dr. Marika Sumanathilaka for connecting us. Uh, so uh, behalf of Morrison, I like to wish uh, uh, all the success going forward and even in the future, uh, we would like to partner with you for any, any future requirements. Uh, I'm sure you all will reach out to us. So once again, I like to wish all the success for this project. Thank you, Dr. Padma. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Johan Vikramasinghe on behalf of Morrison's Manufacturing PLC for making a donation of uh, RS200,000 uh, towards SLMA COVID Sahana. There are many life-saving medical equipments needed for care of COVID patients. They need therapeutic oxygen at varying concentrations and even ICU care. As such, a donation of medical equipment of our choice will support the fund to a great extent. Our next donor will be a representative from Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices Industry. They have pledged medical equipment worth of RS500,000. May I invite a representative from the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices Industry to speak few words with regard to their contribution towards SLMA COVID Sahana. Madam President, I'm Gehan Srinivaratna here. I'm representing uh, on behalf of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices and Industry. Thank you. And uh, first of all, uh, first, First of all, let me commend the good work the SLMA has actually contributed to the community. And it's a very commendable uh, uh, you know, work has done right throughout from the inception itself. And uh, we are great, uh, grateful for the whole uh, SLMA community as well as the doctors concerned. And of course, when it comes to uh, the uh, contribution with regards to this uh, event, I think uh, our uh, 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 platform of uh, companies have actually wanted to support in different different ways. But uh, the contribution will be done in terms of devices and diagnostic units that we will actually contribute to uh, your authority. At the okay. same time, in case if you all uh, request any uh, equipment or any other devices or for that matter, anything to that extent, we would, of course, uh, deal with our uh, representatives of our companies and get you the best uh, deals in terms of doing so. So that will be our main contribution, Madam, uh, in terms of going forward. At the okay. same time, I would like to take the opportunity to thank Dr. Manika Smudlika also for connecting us in terms of uh, going uh, and taking this forward. So uh, this will be our contribution and we would look forward in terms of any other contributions that, that will be needed. We will also reach our uh, individual company uh, uh, representatives also for any other support that we can get from them. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Uh, thank you, um, Gehan, uh, for those kind words and for explaining us how you could support the SLMA COVID Sahana. I'm certain that we'll be able to, together, we'll be able to do uh, uh, something worthy uh, for all our COVID-affected uh, patients. Since its inception in 1887, SLMA has been a credible organization with an unblemished record and has regularly conducted professional development and welfare activities with the technical and financial support from the Ministry of Health and UN organizations such as WHO, UNFPA, UNICEF, and even the World Bank. We in intend to strengthen our ties with these international organizations 
in carrying out our welfare activities. Now, I would like to cordially invite uh, Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka, the Vice President of the SLMA, to make his donation towards SLMA COVID Sahana. Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka, MBBS, MD, MRCP London, MRCP Diabetes and Endocrinology UK, FSLCE, FRCP Edinburgh, FACE USA, Consultant Endocrinologist, National Hospital of Sri Lanka. He's the Vice President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka is also the Chairperson, Sri Lanka Diabetes Federation, and Vice President, the Diabetes Association of Sri Lanka. He's the Secretary, South Asian Federation of Endocrine Societies, and also a past president of the Diabetes Association of Sri Lanka. Manilka is an active council member of SLMA, particularly in SLMA COVID Sahana. I now cordially invite Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka to make his donation by donation of 100,000 rupees by addressing the audience uh, who have joined online for this launch. Manilka, over. Uh, thank you very much, Madam, for the kind words of the introduction. So it's my pleasure as a practicing clinician and one who is uh, uh, busy with our clinical work in the Ministry of Health to be associated with something like this in, a, in the time of need of, for our country. So what I thought was we should help our colleagues who are in the uh, front lines with their urgent needs. What we thought was, as we know, we all work for the Ministry of Health and they are doing their best to uh, supply the needs, but we know the situation uh, the, is very in a state of evolving and it can change overnight. So here, what we thought was that we have the, the fund and the connections between the suppliers and the end users, where we can get the best, uh, you know, uh, possible uh, product delivered to that uh, uh, hospital or the place in a very short period of time. We may not be able to supply the whole need. I mean, that's something for the government and the large organizations to do. But here we could save many lives as possible by quickly uh, supplying what's urgently needed, uh, which we can get the input from the managing physicians and the doctors directly as doctors. And we can understand and buy the correct uh, equipment which is needed through our chambers and the suppliers which we have uh, brought together. So I think uh, we can do a very good job to save uh, as many lives as possible. And it's indeed a pleasure for me to be associated with this cause. This is the very first time I'm associated with something like this, other than it's all been clinical stuff. So I think uh, I'm very grateful to you for uh, giving me an opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka is the Vice President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. I'm very thankful to Manilka for taking up the responsibility and being a very responsible Vice President, uh, uh, Vice President and sort of uh, supporting me to uh, his best of his abilities. Mm. Yeah that during the current intensely trying period in our country, ravaged by the COVID-19 pandemic, there are very many needs of the hour to provide a helping hand and support the pressing issues affecting the people of our country. While some assistance is needed for the care of people, both in hospitals and for others who could not reach hospitals in time and died at home, assistance is needed for the dependents until they become independent. SLMA COVID Sahana will be focusing on both these aspects of COVID-related issues. 
the next donor is our own president, Dr. Padma Gunaratna, who I think needs no introduction. She donates 200,000 to this cause. Uh, thank you, Sumitra. Uh, our next donor is Dr. Deepa Vatugala. Dr. Deepa Vatugala, product of the engineering faculty, University of Peradeniya, passed out from university in 1982. And she now works as the transportation engineer, California Department of Transportation, California, USA. Dr. Vatugala has kindly donated RS 100,000 towards SLMA and goes to Dr. Kalyani Guruge, the consultant pediatrician, to make her donation of RS 50,000. Dr. Kalyani Guruge is the vice president, was the vice president SLMA in 2013 and the public relations officer of the Sri Lanka Medical Association at a stretch from 2015 up to date. Kalyani spends a lot of her time and energy with activities of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, uh, I mean, uh, throughout. Uh, the, uh, Dr. Kalyani Gurugi has very kindly donated 50,000 rupees towards SLMA COVID Sahana. May I uh, invite Kalyani to speak a few words? Kalyani? Uh, yes, Padma. Uh, listening to all this, I was thinking of a poem that I learned when I was a child. Uh, little drops of water, little grains of sand make the mighty ocean and the present land. So I invite all of you to add little drops of water and some grain of sand and make everything beautiful so that we can continue with our work. Thank you, Padma. Uh, thank you very much, Kalyani, that uh, very meaningful verse. Uh, and also, very, thank you very much for your uh, contribution in uh, establishing, I mean, your effort and uh, work that you contributed with in establishing COVID, uh, SLMA COVID Sahana. Uh, I'm now glad to mention our, our uh, SLMA secretary, Dr. Sumitra Tisera, also has made a donation of rupees 50,000 towards SLMA COVID Sahana. Sumitra, just a few words. Madam, I, I'm really happy to have contributed for this uh, good initiative and I hope that we will collect more funds and that we can do a lot for the people who are suffering with COVID. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sumitra. And there's another contribution from uh, Mr. Kalana Gunavadana from Canada, rupees 50,000. Uh, the fund SLMA COVID Sahana will be governed by the president and the council of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. All donations towards the fund will be acknowledged by the association. Along with the SLMA account, SLMA COVID Sahana will be audited annually by an authorized auditor. There will be a chairperson and a committee appointed for three years to carry out relief activities of the SLMA COVID Sahana. I now, now is the time, uh, uh, time for me to invite any other well-wishers in the audience who would, uh, by raising their hands, I mean, who would, who would wish to speak a few words towards, I mean, sort of uh, uh, with regard to uh, the SLMA COVID Sahana or would like to make any contribution towards this worthy cause. Uh, Madam, uh, can I disturb you for a minute? Yes. The uh, pharmaceutical chamber who plays yes, I, yes. Yes. has joined, I think they missed the, when you call them, shall yes. we give them a chance? Yes, please? yes, 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 definitely yes. The, uh... Mr. Sanjeeva Vijay Sekara, please. 
Just a second. Anyway, when it is. Yeah, is he there? Mr. Sanjeeva Vijay Sekara? Yeah, he's there. Right, the Sri Lanka Chamber of the Pharmaceutical Industry has pledged 5 million towards this worthy cause. May I invite Mr. San Sanjeeva Vijay Sekara to speak a few words on behalf of the organization. Mr. Sanjeeva Vijay Sekara? Good afternoon. Yes, afternoon. good afternoon. Actually, we uh, the SLCPI take great pleasure in making this donation of 5 million rupees. And of course, I mean, we have been contributing uh, in the sense uh, during the first wave of the COVID as well as the second wave. We have been supplying uh, the masses with uninterrupted supply of pharmaceuticals. And we continue to do that in the second, uh, third wave as well. And all our members have rallied around. And we are the apex body of the Sri Lanka Chamber of the Pharmaceutical Industry, Pharmaceutical uh, Importers. And we will contribute in uh, time to come as well as and when we all need. And we take extreme pleasure in making this uh, kick start, which is, uh, I mean, Dr. Manilka is also one of the key members and you, and we wish you all the best and uh, hope this uh, the pandemic could come to an end as soon as possible. All the best, madam. Thank you very much, Mr. Sanjeeva, for this, uh, um, I mean, sort of really large contribution that would make a sort of a real good kickoff for the SLME code, Sahana. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now is the time. I see that Dr. Uh, Anoja Fernando has a raised hand. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Padma, uh, Padma, it's really appreciated that uh, you have started. I'd like to pledge uh, 100,000 rupees. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Anoja. Uh, I assure you that we would make sure that all, I mean, donations that are made towards the COVID Sahana Fund, we learn, we understand that those are hardly earned uh, uh, money and that uh, we ensure that uh, all those would be made use in a way that it is directly uh, contributed towards the benefit of the COVID-affected people. Uh, I see that Dr. Sudarshani Vasala Tantri has raised the hand. Yes, yes madam. Uh, yes, I'm happy to donate rupees 100,000 for this fund, which is very worthy. Uh, yes, madam. Uh, thank you very much, Sudarshani. Uh, I greatly appreciate, I mean, she is uh, um, the academic chair uh, of the uh, vice president and the academic chair of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. And uh, she is so much of a strength to uh, all my activities throughout, particularly with regard to organizing the uh, anniversary uh, academic Congress of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. I'm very grateful for your contribution for all activities that uh, we plan to, that we have carried out as well as that we are planning to do over the next year and also for the encouraging remarks that you make and uh, to the uh, contribution that you have made for this worthy cause. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Sudarshini. Thank you, Madam. Right. Uh, right. I think that uh, brings to an, yes. Now it's the time. Uh, right. Uh, I think uh, uh, our Prof. Narada, Prof. Narada has raised his hand. Ah, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Professor Adna Surya? Professor Adna Surya? Yeah, I will make a contribution of 50,000 rupees to the fund. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, sir, for being uh, a past president and uh, exemplary uh, in the medical field. I'm very grateful for your contribution towards the SLMA COVID Sahana. Uh, I think our next item in the agenda is the most important. Uh, SLMA will appreciate the need for ensuring that we reach the expectations of our donors in spending donations. 
Matali Hospital is the leading general hospital for that district. In addition to COVID boards, they are in the process of establishing a, a H, 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 um, high dependency unit, HDU, for COVID patients. That's why we decided to make a donation of pulse oximeters worth of RS360,000 as our very first donation to Martale Hospital. I'm glad that we could spend our hardly earned money of donors on much needed pulse oximeters to the newly established HDU at the District General Hospital, Martale. I now would like to invite Dr. Asela Disanayake, Director Matale Hospital, to accept the donation of 30 pulse oximeters by speaking few words to this gathering. Asela? Uh, sorry, Madam, uh, Dr. Asela is uh, not uh, joined with the uh, Zoom meeting. Madam, I am the Deputy Director, Dr. Ratnay. All right, thank you yeah. very much, Dr. Ratnak. Yes. Thank you very much uh, for the donation you made, madam. It's a great help for this time because we are uh, establishing HDU and uh, intermediate centers, and uh, we, ha we are doing uh, uh, much to work with this, uh, may, with this corona situation. Thank you. Actually, we would like to thank everybody for the uh, kind support giving us to do in uh, those works. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining with us. And we would see that we make these 30 pulse oximeters available at your hospital over the next two weeks. Thank you very much, Deputy Director, for joining us. Now is the time for a vote of thanks. Uh, I would like to invite Dr. Sumitra Tisera, Honorary Secretary, for a vote of thanks. Thank you, Madam. SLMA COVID Sahana is a project that SLMA intends to carry out long term. SLMA COVID Sahana will assist hospitals, medical professionals, nurses, and allied health professionals as well as patients. It is a project with very broad objective that we try to implement. Let me thank the Council of the SLMA for recognizing the timely need of this project and supporting the launch. The Committee for SLMA COVID Fund, particularly Dr. Kalyani Gurge, Professor Aseed Olupelia, Dr. Sajid Tedri Singh, Dr. Manilka Sumanathilaka, Professor Hasini Bannaheka for their active contribution, and Dr. Sachin Kolambage, our academic coordinator, who worked tirelessly to make this a reality. Thank you all donors, without whose contribution it would never have become a success. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the ceremony organized for the launch of SLMA COVID Sahana. Let me thank all of you for deciding to join with us for the launch of this important project. Please be in touch and promote the project among people known to you. Stay safe. Thank you.